everybody and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing some marker art with my Uhuhu markers and I'm having so much fun with them and today I kind of want to do a bit of a garden style or greenhouse kind of illustration and I just think that that will be really fun so without further ado let's dive into it so to begin I have done a small thumbnail sketch and as you can see I have scanned it and as you can see I'm doing the main sort of line art sketch layer digitally but we're just going to do this quickly and then I'm going to print it out and use it as my base for my marker art. So as you can see I have the sketch here in a procreate file and I'm just making a nice little scene here with a propagation table or a potting table where people would be like repotting plants and doing plant stuff. I chose that scene because I thought that it would be very cute. I also added a bag of soil down beside it and some hanging plants on top. We also have some seedlings there on the table as you can see in some little jiffy plugs ready to be potted up. We also have some other items around the illustration as you can see some gloves, a trowel, even some terracotta pots. And honestly I just think this artwork is looking so cute and I can't wait to get into colouring it with these markers. So first up I'm going to be doing the background for this piece which is the side of a greenhouse. Now I'm not sure if this is outside of the greenhouse looking in or inside the greenhouse looking out but I, I am leaning towards inside the greenhouse because I kind of want to play around with the light in this artwork maybe the sun is like shining through the greenhouse and you can see like the sunlight glowing through those translucent green panels I just think that it would look very pretty so I grabbed a few of my lightest green markers as you can see here they are quite soft and pastel and I'm just doing a bit of a gradient as you can see and I'm trying to make each panel of the greenhouse have the lighter part of the gradient at the top and I'm blending it out to a soft green on the edges and the bottom and I'm using the colorless blender as well to sort of blend it out to white as best as I can and the blending technique I'm using is a flicking kind of motion with this technique you sort of flick the brush tip up when you do each stroke and you end up with a bit of a taper which actually helps to sort of blend out the marker and have it like heavier on one edge and lighter on the other edge. So I'm trying my best to make sure that each of these squares look equal with the amount of highlights and shadows. And I'm not too worried about going over the lines where the poles are for these little segments on the side of the greenhouse because I'm actually going to colour them in with a darker colour. So after this I'm going to go over all of the items in the foreground of this artwork with a sort of grey tone. I'm just going to add a base layer of shading for that which is really going to help later on. For that I decided to use a red grey and I honestly just love that these markers have like red greys and green greys. They are honestly just very useful. Those greys just look so nice and pretty. So I decided on red greys for this because it's going to be a really nice contrast with the green and yellow highlights that I have decided to use in this artwork. And I just think that that's going to look really nice and I've also decided that later on I may add in some purple shadows as well just to sort of mix with those yellow highlights. I think that it's going to be very fun to play with that. So there's going to be like purple and red subtle shadows and um, green and yellow highlights and that's going to work harmoniously to do like a really pretty palette for this. So now I'm going into the colouring section for these plants here. And for the large plants on either side, I've decided on a bit of a streaky sort of pattern with some green and yellow. And I think that that's going to look very cool. And we're also going in to the seedlings now. And for these, I used a mix of different greens and yellows just to try and make it look nice and variable. And make sure each of those little leaves stand out pretty good. Now we can't forget this little guy over here and also these slightly larger seedlings that have been potted already. Let's colour those in. And now I'm going to move on to other details on this artwork. So as you can see we have some nice little hanging baskets above the space here. And honestly I decided on a bit of a neutral grey kind of colour for the pots of those ones. And I actually decided on that because I wanted the um, terracotta pots below here to stand out more so I decided to keep the hanging ones more neutral. 
So I actually got to use the colour terracotta for the terracotta pots, I know, pretty perfect. But for the highlights I actually decided to use a cream colour so I could move towards the yellow highlights like I mentioned. And for the shadows I decided on a brown that was a bit darker than the original terracotta colour. And honestly, I love the way that the terracotta pots turned out. I decided to try my best to make sure that the highlights and the shadows matched on each one so that you could tell that the light source for all of them was coming from the same direction. Now I'm just going to go in with the table here and I have to actually be very careful with what colours I choose for the table because I didn't want them to be too similar to the color of the terracotta pots. So I couldn't pick an orangey sort of warm brown color, but I still wanted this table to look like it was made with wood. So I thought to myself, okay, we're gonna have the soil here like a sort of dark rich brown color. And I really don't want that to sort of disappear on the table either. So we can't have it a dark brown. So I settled on a sort of neutral, almost cool brown kind of colour and I actually really like it. It almost has like a purpley kind of undertone. And I'm actually going to enhance that a little bit more later on with maybe some layers of like purpley kind of shadows. I just honestly think that that's going to look very cool. And I honestly think it's working pretty well. We also have that neutral uh, sort of colour for the hanging basket above. So I think this sort of ashy kind of wood colour works pretty well. Now for the other colours in this artwork, I wanted to be a bit particular with the colours that I chose while still not being too constricted, if that makes sense. So I decided to add some blue details to the bags of potting mix as well as the gloves and also just some subtle blue and green details to the trowel. And honestly, I think that that works pretty well with the color palette because most of the colors are green and blue and yellow make green. And I also added a lot of yellowy green sort of highlights onto a lot of those blue areas just to try and mute it down a little bit. So now we're going to go into the texture of this little potting table here. And I just chose some sort of subtle muted brown colors which were slightly darker than the table. And I just added in some little wood grain textures and honestly I just think that it is coming together really nicely. I just think that texture in artwork just makes it look so much more interesting. Especially with the subtle yellow highlights like I mentioned I was going to add. I think that they just play really nicely on the page. So after this I'm going in to the poles which are holding the frames for this greenhouse and I'm just using a Prussian blue for that to sort of tie in the blue in the rest of the illustration. Now speaking of the blues I felt like there was still a bit more blue on the right side of this page compared to the left. So I actually decided to incorporate a little bit of blue into the ground on the left side to try my best to sort of balance that out. So we have a lot of speckly patterns for the concrete here because I really just love playing with texture. Because we also have a lot of lines in this artwork, especially in the plants and the potting table and also the poles. So I really felt like adding some little speckly dots that were sort of blended out in the concrete. That's going to really help add some visual interest. So I actually decided to make it a bit of a gradient. So on the left it's really cool and then on the right it's really warm. And I even added some blues on the left and like oranges and yellows on the right. And I just think that it's turning out very cool. Because I'm just really trying to push the gradient from a really cold grey to a really warm grey, if that makes sense. And I honestly think that that really helped to sort of balance out the warm and the cold areas of this artwork to make it look more balanced and uh, yeah, just interesting. So after this I got out some pencils and I just want to subtly refine some of those details and just add some little highlights here and there where I needed it and here it is, it is complete and honestly I really love this artwork. I had so much fun making it and I think it turned out so cool. I really love the sort of calm chill vibes that it gives 
just been really inspired lately to do sort of garden style artworks also because I've actually started studying horticulture and uh, yeah I think that that's just like sort of the inspiration has shifted over into my art so anyways look probably look forward to more gardeny artworks in the future even though I do that a lot nowadays but uh, yeah Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this artwork and any other ideas that you have for me to make a video or an artwork about. I love hearing your input and uh, yeah, I love you guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Please stay safe out there and I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.